And then the biggest core work of what we do that's it speaks more to our history as a nonprofit and a feminist organization in the 70s is we work in the educational and impact market a lot. Um, it's a big umbrella. Um, what that means for us is the, the standard, it's the K through 12, the university, the community college market, um, nonprofits, NGOs, really kind of any institution that's going to use your film as a teaching tool, um, as a way to further mission or, uh, you know, in an impact capacity in some way. You support between six to 10 projects a year. Um, this one is, is the, the fund's objective is to support projects that might be a vehicle to shed light on injustices and hardships throughout the world. So whether it's the Ebola epidemic or, or teen bullying or, or war, genocide, um, environmental rights, um, and those are the types of stories that we support. Um, so it is very competitive, but we're always looking for these kind of epic, dramatic, urgent stories um, that will be that will not be didactic for, first and foremost. That will be compelling and, and story driven and have some type of um, aesthetic, compelling art artistry. Who made a deal with Netflix, and um, you know, and then basically <laughs> didn't tell me, of course. Uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, and then it, then then went to HBO, and they they love the film and all that, and then we have of course disclose. It's been, been on Netflix, and Netflix is like the, you know, basically the enemy. Ch it's a channel, the Netflix channel. And they said, well, cut the price. No, we don't want it. We don't want it. We don't want it. It was on HBO Olay uh, because it wasn't in, in that particular territory. So, you know, it's like Netflix is sometimes the last stop on the trail because, uh, again, you, you realize there are different forms of uh, video on demand, uh, basically, a lot of it is transactionally based. My job is amazing because I get to watch a tremendous amount of films, and we license, you know, between three thousand and five thousand titles a year. So, you can imagine that it's a very, very <laughs> different type of endeavor. And you know, and I and I think that's one of the things that I want to kind of bring up is that, um, you know, if you if you're lucky enough to have your film selected by a distributor who's going to handle, you know, like everything, the way that Women Make Movies does, you know, you're going to have somebody really working very, very closely with you to, to get the film, you know, all those different levels of, of exposure. Mm -hmm.